Welcome back everyone and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Janice today I'm going to do a get ready with me on a first impression of a little makeup kit that my daughter bought for me so if you want to see how I achieved this look from that kit and you're interested in what it is just keep watching something a little different today. I'm going to do a first impression video and slash get ready with me. I've been wanting to do something different besides unboxings. I don't know about you but I'm kind of bored of them. I mean I'm not really bored of them. I find I get my boxes so late in the month that there's so many videos out there about them and by the time I get get them and open them they just don't get the views so I'm trying to change it up a bit and see if other videos do better and plus this is fun okay the name of this company is well all I see is me so I don't know if any of you've heard of this company And it says, me, Makeover Essentials, the Complete Petite 2. You know, I'm going to be right back and look it up online here and see what I can tell you about the company real quick. Okay, I went online and researched them. I should have done this before I started this and decided to do your first impressions. But they're called Makeup essentials that's the brand now my daughter bought this through a guy who came into the business where she where she works and selling these kits I think she said she paid around ten dollars for it okay so with that being said I'm going to tell you a little bit about the kit before I tell you about the company that I've researched so far it's a cute little kit. You can see it back here. It's kind of like, you know how those Swiss Army knives are? You open up this little kit and you have all your essentials. And it's really meant for like traveling or maybe throwing in your bag for emergency fix-ups or whatever. That's basically what it's for. Here's what it comes with. It comes with 10 eyeshadows, 5 lip colors, one powder blush, one powder bronzer, three applicators, one eye pencil, one lip pencil, one mascara, one pencil sharpener, and two mirrors. So, sounds kind of cute. It is cute. It took me a while to figure out how to get into it. I hope I can remember because it's been, it's been a minute since I've gotten into it. But here's what this looks like, the kit. It's got a clear top. Oops, pops off, yeah, pops off. And that was just, what is that, Rosie? That's just a piece of plastic. Wait, where, where did it go? <laughs> That's Rosie down there, just a piece of plastic. Um, it's holding these little gadgets in. This looks like the mascara. And then there's two pencils. That is the lip pencil. Let's see what that's like. This watch. This is watches here. Well, it feels creamy and it's a real pretty color. It's got plum. It's a tiny pencil, so. <laughs> but it's for popping in your bag. So everything's small, like a like a Swiss Army knife, you know? Those things come in handy sometimes when you're traveling. The guys love them. My husband. He likes his. And this is the eyeliner. Okay. And let's see what that's like. Okay, that's not as creamy, but it's going on nice and dark. As far as swatches go, and it's black. Alright. Now, what I was gonna show you, this opens up like this. 
okay? And let's see. Oh yeah, there's here's a mirror here. And the pencil sharpener is right here. You can see if I look underneath, there it is. And you open this up, it's another mirror, and there's your blush and bronzer. The mirror's down here and there's your blush and bronzer. Okay, the blush. Hmm. It's real light, looks like a light peach. I don't mind light blushes because I like to build them up, but we'll see how it works on the face. There it is, real light. And then the bronzer, it's also pretty light, and that's it. My finger, we'll put it over here. Ooh, that's really light, but that's okay. I don't mind bronzers being light because you can build them up. But so far, they're very light. Um, they feel silky. Not powdery, not powdery. -y. They feel silky. Okay. Um, what's next here? Hmm. Let's see. There's more stuff in here. Trust me. Ah, yeah. On here, there's some drawers. Okay. You pull out the bottom one. Okay. There you go. And here's your tools. And what's in the tools? Let's see here. Three little tools. Oh my gosh. This is definitely for emergency. It's a little brush. And let's see, I'm going to take it off the bag. Oh, wow. It's a dual ended brush, guys. <laughs> there we go. Be cute for um, my granddaughter to play with. And here's another do in brush. One end is a brush, the other end is a sponge. And last but not least, we got one more brush. And this looks like a powder brush. I don't know about you, but this would never work. Yeah, well, you know, it's designed to travel, but I don't think very cheaply made. Very, very, very cheap. I don't think I can use those. But anyway, that's what come in the bottom drawer. Close that up, and the next drawer up. Let's see what's in that. What other little goodies am I going to find? Okay, I do that upside down. Well, there's another drawer, and that is lipsticks. Okay, I'm not gonna swatch it right now because I'm gonna use one of them, and then when I use it, I go ahead and swatch them. And then there's another drawer here. Oh, I see. They look they're upside down, but weird. It's a puzzle. A Rubik's Cube puzzle. <laughs> Here are the eyeshadows. So they're just basic eyeshadows. Looks like it's got some browns. Looks like a lavender. Kind of like a plum color. A blue. The colors are actually quite pretty. Yeah. And gray, black, kind of like a burgundy, a lavender, and a, like, a brownish. And they're all shimmers. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. That's lipstick. So, there are the drawers. See if there's anything else in this little puzzle. I don't think so. 
think that's it. Making sure. Yeah, that is for the tools. Yeah, that is it. So here goes nothing. Okay, I actually found another drawer of eyeshadows. This one here has got a white, a gold, a green, a purple, and oh, uh, you see they're in navy or something that effect. And then the other drawer is what I showed you earlier. And they're all, they're not matte, they're, they're lightly shimmered. The white is matte actually, I think, I think. Well, I went ahead and primed my eyes with um, Painterly by MAC. That's what I always use. It just works well for me. I do want to try the NARS. I heard that's really good, but I don't need to buy that right now. Use this. Yeah, I'm not using those brushes. I already know. I don't need to review these. These will not work. If I'm... I'll throw this in my car... And I don't think I'll have an emergency, but if I do, I can use these. Because <laughs> I usually don't carry makeup brushes around. But, you know, it's, it's a nice idea. Just, you know, I'm not going to do it today. Alright, let's grab some brushes. Let's see. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw that white on for a base. Just to set that um, primer. I usually do that. I, mean, I don't know how this is gonna work, but hey, we're we're trying. I hope it isn't horrible because I gotta go to this. Well, I just gotta go to the drugstore. Well, so far, it's not bad. I mean, you know, it's. I don't expect this to be wonderful. A little bit I read online. I guess some of the salesmen said, "Oh, it's just like Mac, just like Nars." No, I um. Don't expect that. I don't know why they would say that. Uh, you know, it's salesmen telling lies to sell this. And they shouldn't do that. They should be honest. Like, this is just a nice little emergency makeup kit. And it's um, fair value, fair product for a good value. Uh, I'm going to try this. It's a green. Okay. Right here. Well, it's not very pigmented, but we'll see if it builds up. I didn't expect it to be, not at all. It looks more charcoal to me. It's going on okay. I don't like real deep, dark eyeshadow on me because of my age. When I was younger, yeah, I did. But now I don't, so this is so far working. But I'm going to use the gold. I usually don't use gold. I'm going to. Okay. Let's see how that acts. Let's see. Woo! Now oh, that one's more powdery. So I'm going to tap that off. I dug pretty hard because I thought it was harder milled and it's not. We're going to use this color here. You can't see that. Let me try my finger. Sometimes you have to use your fingers. It's extremely light, but I think that's what it was intended to be, so I should use a different color just so we get a feel of this. Let's go back to um, this drawer. Let's do a transition in the brown here, right down here. Highly pigmented. Okay. 
but in a pinch, I'm thinking it does just fine. You know? I mean, for what it is, I think it's just fine. Okay, there's the eye, the black eyeshadow for a liner. I'm gonna try the bronzer now. And then this one, my bronzer brush. It have to be a fairly small one because this is a small area. This is my crown. I'm sure that was a BoxyCharm brush. But I got a BoxyCharm. Either that or Ipsy. I can... I don't remember which one. One of the two. Now that's pretty powdery. It did kick up a little bit. But, oh yeah, it, it is. Oh. But it's going on pretty good. See? Okay. Hmm. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. This might work just fine in my car. Because there is times I'm in a hurry and I don't get all my makeup on and I finish it in the car. Not driving, okay. Um, either my husband driving or well, in the old days. Yeah, way back in my partying days. Like my 30s, I think, when I went out and partied a lot. Yeah, I put makeup on while I was driving. <laughs> I don't recommend that. Don't do that. <laughs> I didn't do it that much. But still, it only takes one time to get in a wreck. One time, the cop pulled me over. I wasn't putting on my makeup. Guess what I was doing? I was working at a restaurant, and I had just enough time to go to this bar that everybody was going to, to get last call. Well, I had my change of clothes with me, but I didn't change at work. Duh. You think I would have? I changed in the car while I was driving. <laughs> Cop pulled me over, asked me what I was doing. I told him. He started, he didn't even believe me. He started laughing. So, oh my gosh. I said, I'm really, really sorry. I says, I, I have to go hit this bar for last call and I want to meet my friends. And he let me off. He just said, well, don't change. Next time, he says, change at work, not in your car. <laughs> and he let me go. And I went, I met, I got there in time. And and nowadays time, oh heck no, that cop would have had my butt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, this is very subtle, which is what I like. Okay. So we're gonna try the blush. Get my favorite blush brush. I I just love this thing. It's a crown. I use it all the time. I don't know why I like it, I just do. It's kind of pointy. I just love it. All right, I kind of put it higher because I don't like my face. It's fall. It's fell enough. I don't want the blush to make it look like it's falling even more. Okay, this is really subtle from what I can tell. <laughs> uh oh, here, here goes the alarms. I like subtle and this is perfect for me so you, it's coming along you just got to build it up well this this little kit is perfect for me it may not be for someone who likes dark color or not highly pigmented and you're you know but yeah and so far, so good. I'm happy. It doesn't have a regular powder, I don't believe me. Double check. There's a bunch of compartments here. I, I think I got them all. It doesn't have everything, but it has the basics. I'm going to work on my under eye. Let me try the under eye black pencil. I used to wear black pencil in my waterline all the time. But I haven't in the last couple years that much. Again, that's the age thing. Well, we're going to do it today. 
Uh, girls, no, turn off the alarm. Goes on nice. Um, I like that it's not extremely black. Again, I like subtle. So if you like it extremely black, you won't like this. I don't know if you could build it. You probably could. Girls, please. No, no one's here. Nobody. I might have to let them go outside here in a minute. I just did before I started this, but you know. All right. Let me see what this is like. Let me get a close up. It's, it's fine. It's fine. This is surprising me. Okay. Now we did say we're going to do a little bit of under eye. Okay, under eye. I gotta find the, the tray. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Found it. Nice and different colors, maybe? Just just see how these colors all work? Yeah. We'll go ahead and try the um, plum. Okay, I did the under eye off camera. I use a little bit of the burgundy and like the lilac and then um, the light pink in the corners. So that is the eyeshadow. It's not bad. So next, I'm going to do my mascara. I don't know about this. I'm fussy with mascara, but this is the mascara. See what that brush looks like in the formula. Okay, it's just a little brush. I'm glad it's little for a little container. I don't expect anything out of this, okay? Nothing. But it may work in a pinch. That's what this whole thing is for. Formula feels nice. I can tell by pushing the brush in, not dried out. Well, this would be a nice mascara for your bottom lashes. I read some reviews online about this. And it wasn't that good. But I think they're from years ago. So maybe the company improved their, improved it. No, it doesn't give you lots of volume. It doesn't give you lots of length, but it coats them very nicely. Lips. I'm gonna put glasses on for this. I can't see. Let's see how this looks with glasses. Yeah, it's definitely not in your face eye look, okay? What it was sold to be and meant to be was a emergency makeup kit. Okay, go the lips. This is a pretty color. I love this color. Though I have one color in here. But I like it. It's a plummy color. I love plums. Not bad. Not bad at all. This is my Luxie one. I love this thing. I love it. I just now dropped this, okay, when I was off camera. I bent these. <laughs> I'm trying to fix them. Oh, my gosh. It, yeah, it's fixable. Okay, we got these colors to choose from. What color do you think I should wear? <laughs> Let me see. Too bad you can't answer me. Well, let's go ahead and match up the lip line. Let's go with the, this one here. It looks kind of like a rosy mauve. Okay. It's a fairly thick formula. Pretty opaque. Um, it's not matte, which is fine with me. A cream. It's a cream. 
feels okay. To look okay? Yeah. I don't have a lot of makeup on today. Very light and subtle. But it, what do you think? Let's go ahead and swatch these lips. And I'm gonna do it on the with a brush because it's so tiny. If I do a finger swatches, I'll probably use all the product up at once, so I don't want to do that. There are the colors. And here they are on my hand. They're not real opaque, but they're not super sheer. My final thoughts? Um, yeah, I'm glad my daughter picked this up for me. She mainly got it for me so I can do a little fun thing on my channel. And I will use this. Uh, I don't go on a lot of trips, but if I tr travel down state, a lot of times I go bare face and I want a little makeup, I just throw it in my car. I mean, I don't use it that much, but you know, it's an emergency. So, that is my first impressions. Would I go out? To buy this? No. But I'm I'm happy I have it. I think the look looks fine. I haven't done anything else with it except for the foundation. And I haven't put powder on. I haven't used setting spray. So this is just what you see me do. So take my glasses off again. Yeah, the mascara could be better, obviously. It's not bad for bottom lashes, that's for sure. Okay, I am going to let my doggies out and come back and tell you what the website says and also what some reviews are. So if you want to stay tuned for that, just keep watching. Well, this is rather disappointing. I went online to read a few reviews about this. Makeover Essentials company and hmm wow is everyone upset a lot of people say it's a scam they they what they do is they come up to you in a parking lot or mall or businesses which is how I got a hold of this my daughter she was working and they walked in the business and they handed her a little bag, which I looked for that little bag, I could not find it. Um, anyway, it comes in a little bag and they had this product in there, this uh, Me Makeover Essentials Kit. It's a little kit. And I guess the whole spiel was that it was something that was travel, travel friendly kind of like a Swiss army knife idea with makeup. So she thought it was really cute. And I was hoping I'd find out much better things than I did. Uh, as you've seen, I did do a get ready with me. And I am wearing it. And so far, I mean, it's not bad. Okay, I don't know how much she paid for that. I believe she told me she paid $10. I'm not sure. Um, I can ask her again if I can get a hold of her and put it in over here. Yeah. <laughs> and let you know. But it's very soft makeup. It felt good. It was silky. But one thing I'm noticing right now is my eyes are kind of feeling like they're burning not not real bad okay not real bad at all just a little bit so I don't know if it's from the shadow or the mascara I don't know but a lot of a lot of eyeshadows do it to me anyway so I can't really judge it for that it's not bad where is this stuff made ingredients and eyeshadows mica talc magnesium 
silica, dimethicone, yeah, and methicone is what makes it real um, silky feeling. Mineral oil. The blusher has the same type of ingredients the bronzer does. It's made in China. Okay. Now there's some good factories in China. I'll get some awesome makeup. But there's some really bad ones too. So it says animal testing was not used in the manufacturing of this product. Well that's good to know. Um, it says it's paraffin free. After you open it, it has a 12-month expiration date. Made in China. And it's distributed by Endovage LLC, Newport Beach, California. And their website is makeoveressentials.com. So, that's about the company so far. And then I just went and read some reviews and what the main gripe was was it well yeah about the quality but mainly it was about how the salespeople approached them and how they pressured them and scanned them into buying this they inflate the price and then of course they discount it to death a lot of companies do that say hey this is a good deal and that's how they sell it the world of makeup blog, makeup scam, avoid me, makeover essentials. And it goes on and it talks about it. So, yeah, I'm not binding positive. Well, my whole point of, of doing a get ready with me and reviewing it is for the simple fact, if it was something I wanted to keep, for an emergency. Yeah. Um, I'm not unhappy with the quality. It's normal, low grade makeup quality. It is on eBay for a lot cheaper, for like $5, $6. So, you know, there you go. Well, anyway. Um, that's what I found so far. I will continue to look into this a little more, just in case any of you are interested. But I would be wary of buying this brand. So I don't really approve of, of what I've read so far. So that's my review. It's very mixed. Um, very neutral. To, eh. So yeah, it's convenient. A little gim very gimmicky. But you know, that's how um, people sell things to make money. That's just how it's done. Unfortunately, it's how it's done. Everyone has to make a living. So that is my get ready with me. I hope you enjoy this. This is quite different than I normally do. Uh, I hope it was informative. I know I have to do a lot more homework when I do these types of videos, but I'm trying and I hope at least what I gave you, give you a little bit of insight on this particular brand. Okay, I just want to remind you if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be notified when my next video is up. Also like this video and comment what do you think about all this. Do you like this type of video? I will. I do want to do some more get ready with me and some little first impression reviews and even some reviews that I've used the products a little more. Probably nothing like this, you know, where I don't know where a product came from. This was just something extra that I'm doing. But I hope you enjoyed it. All right, everyone. I will see you in my next video. And you have a very nice day or evening wherever you are. Bye. Mm -hmm.